The next piece on the program was written for me by my friend and colleague Jerry Tabor, and uh, it's called Push to Hush. And I'll show you the score. It's a very unconventional looking score. There are diagrams of chord placement, and uh, the performer can choose really any chord he or she wishes to start on, and then can proceed either clockwise or counterclockwise and proceed around the circle until uh, they've played all 38 chords. So it can really go in any order, and there's places where your performer can even loop back and uh, go around again. So uh, <laughs> the piece is over when uh, each chord has been played once, so there's no kind of um, overarching melody or push to a final chord because the final chord would really depend on where I choose to start. Um, each chord is really its own sonic event, is to be considered for its own uh, harmony and, then, uh, and sound. Uh, studying in Canada, we always uh, study the American Experimental School as one of the great movements of the 20th century and, and leading into contemporary music. So uh, it was really an honor when moving here to meet someone and work with someone who's part of that school, a direct link to that school, and uh, just a real thrill, thrill to have a piece written for me by him. So. Push the hash.
Thank you. 